A grocery store sells a brand of juice in individual bottles and in packs of six bottles. On a certain day, the store sold a total of 281 bottles of the brand of juice, of which 29 were sold as individual bottles, which equation shows the number of packs of bottles P sold that day. So this is a question where we've got to take this word problem, translate it into an equation, in this case, solving it for P. But we don't have to start by you know, setting P equal to something and then trying to figure out what it's going to equal. Let's create our own equation based on the information in this problem and then rearrange it as necessary to get, hopefully, one of these choices. So the total number of bottles is 281. 29 of them were individual. The rest were sold in packs of six. So how is this going to work out? Well, if we start with our 29 individual bottles, and if we add them to 6 times P, again, P is the number of packs. Each pack contains 6. So this quantity, 6P, is the number of bottles in those packs. This sum should be 281, right? Your 29 individuals plus whatever's in your packs should add up to your total, which is 281. And now we just got to rearrange this to get this in terms of P. So we're going to get 6P is equal to 281 minus 29. And now we'll divide both sides by 6. And we get 281 minus 29 over 6. And looking at the choices, that looks to be choice A. And then you could double check this, right? You can actually do the math here. So 281 minus 29. Actually, should get my calculator out here because this is the calculator section. So we can do that, which is great. So 281 minus 29. gets me 252 divided by 6. So I would have 42 packs. And this totally makes sense. If you do 42 times 6, and then you add the 29 back on, you get your 281, which is what you would have expected. So everything's consistent, and we're going to go with choice A. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll. And you can find the link in the description below the video.